friends welcome back if you are new welcome my name is Nikki we are going to a brand new thrift store that I have never been to I'm very excited because I've lived in Los Angeles <laughs> I think I'm coming up on 12 years now and I feel like in the greater Los Angeles area I have been to like 90% of the thrift stores here we have a lot of thrift stores I want to say the most common is Goodwill um, and then we have a lot of like little tiny ones, Salvation Army, stuff like that. But I've been to most of them in the greater LA area. I did come a bit far out from the city. I'm in LA County, probably like 45 minutes from the beach. I always tell you guys, I don't mind traveling to source. Uh, I find some of the best stuff when I'm just, you know, out in the burbs and that's where we are today. Also fun fact, this is one of the highest rated Goodwills I have seen in a long time in Los Angeles. This has a couple hundred five-star reviews, so I'm really excited. It's supposed to be really big and um, lots of like stuff, like furniture, shoes. The shoe section looks amazing. So I already did my shipping for the day. You guys, sales have been so great to me, uh, especially on Amazon, but... We'll get to that. I'm gonna do separate videos on that. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Okay, friends, that store was interesting. <laughs> Let me walk you through it. So, I spent about an hour in there. I think you definitely need more time there. I'm definitely going to go back, but in order to make it worth my while, I really need to spend more than an hour there because like I told you guys, that was about like a 45 minute to an hour drive for me. And then there was even more traffic coming back. Um, so I'm not at the store right now. I drove because traffic was getting really bad, but I think in order, to, like I said, maximize my time there because of the commute, you need longer. That store is huge. I'll put footage of it in while I'm talking and everything I filmed while I'm talking. That is a very, very big Goodwill. It's not the biggest I've been to, but it's a very big one. I mean, they have a whole separate room just for hard goods. <coughs> um, so I turned the car off, you guys. It's currently 85 degrees here in Los Angeles, so I might have to turn the car on and put the air on because it's really hot and my allergies are going crazy because all of a sudden in the middle of February, it's summertime. Um, very big store. Some of their pricing is wild, like more expensive than some of the ritzy, ritzy parts of Los Angeles, like Beverly Hills, West Hollywood. I mean, they were charging, as soon as you walk in the store, I'll show you because I got footage of it. They have um, in like a glass container sneakers, uh, Nike, Adidas. I couldn't even see the prices, but I was like, they had some Jordans behind there. I didn't look at those because they have a huge uh, shoe section that's not behind a like glass thing. They had two coach purses right near the front of the door. One of them was leather. One of them was not. It was like 50 and $60 for coach purses at Goodwill. It's like, what? I don't think I've ever seen a coach bag at a Goodwill that expensive before. So immediately when I saw that, I was like, oh, Lord. <clears throat> so they clearly mark things up here. Here we go. <laughs> so I one thing I will say, though, that store was very organized. I appreciate a well-organized thrift store. They even have shoes um, by size, which I really appreciated. Very clean, very nice employees. So that's nice. But their pricing is just like, wow, you know, and to be out in the suburbs, it's just really expensive for those purses. Then I saw some shoes like on a shelf. Uh, one of them was a new to me brand. It's, I think it's called Shelly London. I'll put the footage in. These apparently are sold at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack because it still had the Nordstrom Rack tag on. And I think they were charging like 10 or 15 bucks. But I checked, like brand new, they only retail for 50 or $60. So I passed on those. There was also another, these look like stripper heels to me. But they were like all red, 
rhinestone heels. I love the heels, like at least a five inch heel, I think. Uh, another brand sold at Nordstrom Rack. I'll have put the footage in. I don't, it was it like Lauren Lorraine or something. Again, I found the exact shoe online. It only retailed new for 60 bucks. So I left those because I think they were charging like 10 bucks. Um, and then I went to like the whole shoe section. They have huge racks that go up like six or seven feet of shoes, like four or five racks of those. I spent quite a bit of time in the shoe section. I did find some um, children's Bear Paw, that's the name of the brand, Bear Paw hiking boots. Brand new without the tags. I thought that they would retail for more. Um, I think the store was charging 11 bucks, but from what I could find online, I think those shoes only retail new for like 30 or $40, so I passed on those, which is interesting because do you guys remember a couple months back, I found some Bear Paw, like, I don't think they're faux fur. I think they were some kind of like sheep fur boots that I currently have listed for like all close to a hundred bucks. So not all uh, items from a brand sell the same, you know, some hiking boots and from the same brand, only retail for like 30 bucks and then some other boots retail from Bear Paw for like hundreds but it has to be the specific um boot that has the animal hair what's the fur I'm thinking of I can't remember but so I passed on those even though they were brand new that's something else I noticed about this store they mark up shoes I don't think it's been a long time since I've seen a Goodwill just mark up like kids shoes to like 12 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. So they had a lot of athletic shoes, a lot of Nike running shoes, and they had them marked at 15, 20, 25, 30. And I was just like, there's no money to be made. And the thing is, a lot of them were really beat up, like really beat up. Canvas ripped, the bottom of the shoe, just a disgrace. Like no runner could wear those. I don't think for very much longer because you know if you run like when I ran the marathons I would change my sneak I think there's a mileage that they recommend of like how many miles you put on a pair of sneakers but I would just change mine annually anyways I get off on tangents you guys it just because I buy running shoes I still run like five times a week eh, four or five times a week I was just thinking like if I was a runner buying these used online I would not buy these because the tread is a mess, the canvas is ripped, and Goodwill's charging like 30 bucks. I, there was no profit for me to be made. So after shoes, I spent, geez, I spent like a good 15 minutes, probably too much time, more time than I should have spent um, in the activewear section because I've been selling a lot of activewear lately and I also need some for myself. You guys know I have a small problem with buying activewear for myself. I work out a lot, but I've been losing a lot of weight lately and none of my stuff fits me anymore. It's so annoying. It's a good problem, right? But so I spent a lot of time in there looking for myself, but I also... Uh, like to sell activewear. You guys know that. And you'll see case in point in some of the stuff I bought. And I show you when we get to the haul portion. Um, I did find these uh, Fabletics leggings. I don't like buying Fabletics leggings unless it's Dollar Day or at the bins. Unless it's a very unique print or a popular style. Uh, because usually for Fabletic leggings I can get like 20 to 30 bucks like fast to sell them quickly but for the more unique prints you guys sometimes I can sell them for like 40 50 bucks people love Fabletics I am a member I get a new outfit from them every month um so I did pick up a pair of Fabletic leggings that I'll show you but didn't find anything else for myself or to resell I feel like if I had more time I probably could have found some things because I didn't go through every single thing even though I spent like 15 minutes in that section um I didn't touch like every single item. Like when I go to a thrift store, I try to go through every single item. Um, so after that, I hit up the coats section. It seems like they mark most coats at $9.99, which I don't think is bad. Like even some higher, like they had a seven for all mankind coat that I'm pretty sure was a men's coat. I would have picked it up if it was in better condition. It was $9.99. 
those puffer coats from Seven for All Mankind, they don't sell super fast. Like, it could sit for a while, but it when slash if it sells, they sell anywhere from like uh, 70 to 100 bucks. So I definitely would have picked that up, but it had a lot of um, like scratches on it and peeling. It just was well loved. Really nice jacket though, uh, but I left that. Um, I'm trying to be more selective, especially because it's February. I'm filming this today. It's 85 degrees. I know that's not normal around most parts of the country right now, but spring is upon us, friends. So if I'm buying winter gear at this point, I prefer that it be a fast seller. And I just have experience with Seven for All Mankind. The brand in general, I've sold it a lot over the years, but also a big puffer coat might potentially sit till next winter. So I passed on that because of condition and time of year. Then I hit up their hard goods room. Like it's not even just a section, you guys. It's a completely separate it could be a small store on its own. I didn't spend much time there. When I go back there, I'm definitely going to spend more time there. I'm not a professional hard goods seller, you guys. I do sell a lot of hard goods, but when I'm sourcing for hard goods, it is very time consuming for me because I'm not an expert. So I literally have to look up every single thing that I see that I think I want to pick up. So I kind of just zoomed through. I am pretty experienced though with electronics. Um, kitchenware, like deep fryers. I've, I recently sold a deep fryer on Facebook Marketplace for 60 bucks and I bought it for five at Goodwill. So like kitchen stuff, electronics, I'm better with, but um, like little tchotchkes and statues. Like I love watching those YouTube channels because they make such good money, but they're like experts in those things. And I have no idea what any of it is. So, um, I did score some golf clubs that I'm gonna show you. Uh, is there anything else I wanna tell you about before I show you what I bought? Definitely going back there, but I need more time. And I think what I'll do next time is set up a route of like places to stop on the way there, just because it's an hour drive for me. So I might as well stop. At th that going there is gonna have to be like a day thing for me, you know? I'll set up some stops along the way. Or maybe I'll go there first and work my way back. But it's just, it's a trek. So I feel like I need a lot of time in that store. Like I need at least another hour or two. Two to three hours in that store for sure. But I'll definitely go back. But their pricing, some of the stuff is just a mess. Like, I don't know. I personally think it's too much. But I did find some deals. All right. So I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 items, and I donated a dollar, um, and I spent $60.10. It was technically $59.10, but I donated a dollar. I did have a 20% off coupon, so it actually took 20% off each item. So let me just show you what I got. So in the hard goods section, I told you guys they had, um, I showed you probably, that they had these golf clubs. Um, I did find comps. It's the brand Alien Golf. And I'm... Oh God, can I show you this without, like, damaging my windows? I'm pretty sure this is their older logo because I found some of the newer logo ones. But I think, you guys, I'm going to sell these as a set. So I paid with my coupon. I paid $3.99 for each of these. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight. I think I got eight of these. So I'm going to polish these up, clean them up, and I'm probably going to sell them as a set. Oh, I have one Spalding one. Um, I'm going to make pretty good money on this. And springtime's coming up, golf season, where people are golfing a lot's coming up. So I, I do have to look at, it was hard to find comps on these as a set. Uh, but separately, I found comps that were anywhere from like 20 to one guy had one that was like really cleaned up that was used and he had it listed. It didn't sell at 50. So I don't know. There's like a wide range, but expecting to make some good money on these. Um, they're in really good condition. The handles are really good. I always tell you guys how 
Many times have I preached to you, get into the athletic year. And when people think when I say that, I'm just talking about clothing. I always tell you guys, I love selling hard goods more than I like selling clothing. It's less work. You don't have to measure anything usually. Um, usually there's less returns. I just love it, especially sporting gear, fishing rods, uh, what else have I sold? I've sold like hunting kits. I've sold hundreds of golf clubs at this point in time. I don't always like shipping them. So sometimes you guys, I will take a couple months off from selling golf clubs, but it's really not that hard to ship. I could do a video on it. I just get lazy, but especially spring and summer, I flip golf clubs like nobody's business. So you guys, you don't have to be an expert. You can just look up comps. All the information you need is on the actual golf club. So um, yeah, I'm excited about those. And to only pay $3.99 each is a total of four. I picked up this Levi's jacket. This I paid, so it was originally, wasn't it $9.99? Yeah, originally $9.99, but I got a 20% off. So I paid $8.01. It's a size small. Oh, I didn't know that like the back lifts up, has like a little vent there. I found this exact jacket and I think, I think I found this exact jacket, but the jacket that I saw that sold, that looks most similar to this, sold for about 50 bucks. So I'll take it. If I get 50, I'll be happy. If I get 40, I'll be happy considering I paid eight bucks, but I'll let you know. Uh, Cause I, I thought I found this exact style, but I don't know. You guys know Levi's has so many different styles of things. Um, but spring and summer, I don't know. I just feel like jean jackets are always in style. You can wear them year round, really, I guess, depending where you live. Jeffrey Campbell. These are a size nine. They're green. They're slides. I thought these would be very cute for um, spring and summer. These were... Seven ninety nine, and I should just do this in my head. So I paid six dollars and thirty nine cents for these. I could send these to the real real. They usually take Jeffrey Campbell for me, but I don't think they'd price them high enough. I'm probably just gonna sell them myself and list them for like fifty or sixty. I think those are cute. Here's the Fabletics leggings I told you about. These were originally $7.99, so take 20% off that. I paid $6.39. I found these exact style. These are so cute. If they were a size medium, I would keep them. Um, these exact style used just sold for $55. So I'm going to get these listed ASAP because I think they're cute and perfect for spring and summer. How many times can I say cute in one video? Here's a brand I haven't sold a lot of over the years. It's Todd. I think these are men's. I don't know. Are these men's or women? But they're 100% leather. They're size 9. They must be women's, right? I found this exact style but in patent red. And they sold for $160 used. But they were patent. These are not patent. And then it has the little... Um, I was going to call these dots. That's not what they're called. I know what they're called. Oh, I hate when it escapes me and then you guys write it in the comments and I'm like, that's what I was thinking, but it, it couldn't come out of my mouth. But anyways, I paid $7.99 minus the 20%, so $6.39. I'm going to clean these up with my leather cleaner, clean up the inside. Um, I don't want to say... I don't know. I have to look up comps. I was going to say maybe I'll get 100, but I really don't know. I don't want to like give you guys false information because I couldn't find any that weren't um, patent leather. So that's what I got, you guys. Not a huge haul, but I'm expecting to make really good profit on the golf clubs, the sheet, on everything. So not bad. I'm definitely going to go back, but I think this is a lesson to learn that like don't judge a store if you just walk in like... I feel like back in the day, if I would have just walked in there and saw $60 coach purses, I would have been like, oh no, this place is ridiculous with pricing. I'm done. I always tell you guys though, you know, they don't know everything, every brand. They may miss some things. It's not always the same people pricing every day, all day. So I think I did pretty good. I'm expecting to make some pretty good profit. Definitely going to go back there. I will film when I go back. 
Zane, uh, Nanny is, I'm trying to get my thoughts together. I've been up since 4 a.m. Zane is teething and he was sleeping through the night and now all of a sudden he's like 15 months, he's teething, he wakes up every single night. And when I say wakes up, like this kid is up like wanting to play, hang out, have some milk. So we're just exhausted, you guys. Um, and I was at the gym today by 5 a.m. So yeah, like by this time of day, I just start getting loopy. I want to say things, but they don't come out right. So I was trying to say the nanny's about to get off. Zane and I are going to go to the park. Uh, maybe I'll just film there if you guys want. I don't know. Just I think it's fun to have little montages at the end. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Uh, what else? All right, friends. That was. Did I tell you how much I spent? Yeah, I told you. I'm going to get off camera because I'm loopy. And I am drinking coffee. And you guys know I can't stand coffee. It's really not coffee. I put this much coffee, literally this much, and this much hot chocolate, and this much almond milk. <laughs> All right, friends. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll catch you soon. Oh, I'm heading to Utah. I think by the time you're seeing this video, I'll be going to Utah soon. So if you have any recommendations of places to source in Salt Lake, let me know. Love ya, ciao.